Hey guys, big announcement over the weekend from Tesla and Elon Musk. This is Jonathan from Alternative Energy Review, and I'm here to talk about it. So over the weekend, Elon Musk had a press conference where he announced the Powerwall 2 and Tesla's new solar roof, which is basically a full roof of, of solar panels. Instead of your traditional solar, it's all panels. Pretty cool. Elon kicked off the press conference by reminding us about our record high carbon emissions. We're at 404 parts per million, and since 1950, that number has just been on a meteoric rise, and it's only been going one direction, and that's up. So, we need to transfer off of fossil fuels and into clean energy. Electric power is a lot cleaner than fossil fuels, and so this new solar roof looks like a traditional roof, and it, unlike the boxy existing solar panels, this has a very nice aesthetic to it. He likened it to the transition that electric cars have taken. They started off as being not very sexy, very short range to where they are today. Some of the best looking cars on the road with 300 plus mile range and great performance. Solar energy needs to take that same path. And this new introduction of the solar roof is that next evolution. I'm personally pretty excited about this because I believe that the future is localized power generation, localized storage, so that you can remove your dependency from the grid. Our power grid in this country is overloaded, and as we transition off of fossil fuel power into more electric powered products, electric vehicles especially, and we start replacing our natural gas heating, cooling, cooking with electric power as well, the amount of electric use in this country is going to continue to go up. And so we need to diversify that generation so we can handle this increased demand. It's pretty simple. I've been beating this drum about localized generation, localized storage for a while. And this is a great advancement in that quest. So this new announcement, while pretty exciting, is still pretty light on details. We're missing some critical information like cost, warranty, availability. Now Elon says the cost of one of his solar roofs is gonna be less than a traditional roof when you combine the cost of the roof and the electricity it's gonna generate. Okay, makes sense. So there's probably a bigger upfront cost and a lower cost of electricity moving forward. What's the upfront cost? How much does it reduce your electricity? When is that crossover point where you get a return on investment? One year, five year, 10 years, 20 years? I don't know. How long are you gonna live in your home? What does it do to the resale value of the home? What about the insurance? What about the insulation? Can you walk on it? Uh, what happens if you have a fire? What happens if you dispose of it? Now he's, he did a pretty impressive test where he dropped weights on it and he showed that they're pretty darn durable, but there's still quite a few un unanswered questions here. Is this technology ready for commercialization? The model homes that he showed, they had the roofs installed on them, but they weren't turned on and active. And there's a lot of media outlets out there that are speculating that this is a move by Elon to persuade his stockholders to agree to the merger between Tesla and Solar City. That's something that I don't even know how to comment on and I don't even want to venture into. I'm more interested in the technology itself. What I do know is solar roof tiles aren't new. In fact, just this year, Dow Chemical, they decided to retire a solar roof panel that they've had on the market for the last five years. Why did they retire it? I think they've been having a hard time getting it to work in the marketplace. So has Tesla figured out something that Dow Chemical wasn't able to? Well, that's yet to be known. You know, I wonder also, how do they link these panels together? How do all these individual little shingles, how do they connect and how do they work together? Um, again, not a lot of information. As far as efficiency, uh, apparently after the press conference in a private Q&A, Elon did say that the performance of these panels was roughly 98% of a traditional solar panel 
And because of the way that the sunlight bounces around inside of there, he hopes that they will actually outperform traditional solar panels in the not too distant future. Cool. Well, still a lot yet to be seen. And what is the window of opportunity here? The technology in this energy space is just going up like crazy. You know, we have solar windows. They're talking about solar paint. Is this new product at a price point that will remain competitive in the marketplace for a long time? Don't know, still yet to be seen. Sure does look good though, gotta give them that. The Powerwall 2 doubles the storage capacity over the original version, and it includes its own built-in inverter, making it more of a turnkey solution. The price on it is $5,500, which is below cost on that, as far as I can tell. So I gotta wonder, you know, what kind of subsidies are taking place in order to be able to offer that low price? The specs on it are really attractive though. It has a 90% round trip efficiency. So what that means is if the solar panel generates 10 kilowatts of power, it loses a little bit of power when it goes into the battery. And then again, it loses a little bit of power when it delivers to the load to whatever's drawing that power, your refrigerator, your lights, your charging your car, whatever. So that 10 kilowatts of power is nine kilowatts delivered, round trip. Very, very good. They also introduced their Power Pack 2 utility scale storage, which has 210 kilowatt hours of storage. Now the prices and availability are, uh, on that aren't available, but they're advertising 88 to 89% round trip efficiency. Again, really good. Elon said that SoCal Edison is currently buying 80 megawatt hours of storage for their installation, and they also have a big installation going on in Kauai. Elon is focused on a three-part solution for the future going forward localized generation, storage, and transportation. With the anticipated increase in energy usage moving forward for electricity, he expects there to be three times the amount of electricity needed. As we increase the amount of electricity that we consume with our electric powered vehicles and replacing other fossil fuels with electricity, our overall energy demand is going to increase by a magnitude of 3x according to Elon, which means these new localized power systems are not going to eliminate the need for the utility power, which many suspect. In fact, he sees a future where utility still generates two thirds of our power and our local generates one third. Also, he sees a breakdown of the power consumption being one-third for transportation, one-third for heating, and one-third for our existing usage. Now the heating part, I don't quite understand, but I am assuming that he's referring to a replacement of our natural gas, our heaters, our air conditioners, and our cooking. Don't know. If anybody has any other ideas, please you know, leave a comment below because I'm kind of curious about that one. Now here's some interesting statistics about the solar market that I read in the Wall Street Journal. I'm just going to read them off to you. U.S. residential solar panel installations are likely to grow 23% this year and 17% to 18% in 2017. That compares to 66% growth in 2015 over the previous year. The growth rate is slowing as the market matures in California, where about half the nation's home panels are installed and installers are finding it more expensive to reach the next wave of homeowners. This is a market that has historically, through 2015, been growing at more than 50% a year, and it is not doing that this year and won't do that anymore. It's reverting back to more incremental, but hopefully sustainable growth. Okay guys, there you have it. There's my report on the big announcement from Tesla on the Powerwall 2 and the solar roof. I'm pretty excited about this technology, but I'm also looking forward to getting a number of questions answered. So if you guys have any questions as well that you think I missed, please leave them below. If you have any answers to the questions that I have, leave them below. If you like this video, please hit the like and 
be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be doing more of this stuff. Look forward to talking to you soon. See ya.